Hi and assalamu alaikum everyone. In this video we will present our new proposed research product for ISIIDFCT 2024 with title EC Mitaria. I will start with introducing our members. This product is led by Nur Sayamana, student from FTKK, followed by me, Mohamed Fazli Mohamed Sam, Mahmoud Dewi Sulistio from Telkom Uni Indonesia, Azahari Sala, Afika Elia Kamaruddin from Perkiso Berhud, Nikadilla Hanin Zari from Unimap and Mohamed Juzela Abdul Latif. To introduce our product, we can take a look at this figure, where we can see there are many dialect in Malay language from Cocos Island till Wet Papua. This invited several problems, such inconsistency in dialect recognition hard to do in real-time processing and there are still dialectal overlap and ambiguity, among them. Furthermore, we still face data scarcity and quality issue, how to generalize the model and how to design a good and reliable user interface. The EC Mideria is stand for East Coast Malay Dialect Recognition Application. Whereby, we are focusing on the two dialect Kalantan Dan Terenganu Malay dialect. Here, we can see and understand the demands where, from one research center said that from 2017 to 2025, there is an increment trend towards the sound recognition market in Europe alone. Moreover, in global perspective, the sound recognition shared Severock market on various appliances in human daily life. Speaking of the product objective, we targeted to fulfill these three listed objectives, first, on the enhanced model accuracy and reliability, as the objective one is to develop and integrate more extensive and diverse datasets of East Coast Malay dialects into the machine learning model, second, on the optimized real-time processing, as the objective two is to investigate and implement optimization techniques, such as edge computing and model compression, third, on the improvement for the dialect. Differentiation, as the objective three is to create and apply advanced natural language processing algorithms capable of handling linguistic ambiguities and overlapping features. Product invention, significant and impact, by this product, we prepared a new dataset for Kalantan, Terenganu and standard Malay dialect for the sound processing field, here is an example, we used Ikan as a word. Left is the Malay standard image profile sound, center is Kalantan dialect Malay and right is the Terenganu dialect Malay, which pronouncing Ikan. With this product, we received and awarded a copyright from my IPO which dedicated to the speech application. This copyright was awarded in 2022. For proving that the preliminary works were conducted before introducing this product, we publish one WASP proceeding paper in IC Tech 2022 and the paper won the Best Paper Award during the conference. Later early this year, an idea of only Kalantan dialect Malay introduction for robot was proposed by us and won two awards, one gold award and one special award in MIIX 2024. In terms of the implementation level, currently we are at level 4 in technology readiness level suggested by MASTI which successfully demonstrated in lab environment and the real environment. Now, for the technical specification, we combine three important phase in accomplishing our product, or speech recognition and machine learning phase as the data or sound collection. Later we process with the artificial intelligence via cloud computing. The next phase is, to implement and test it in real time. To do this, API services occupy to ensure the trained model network will be successful to recognizing the sound produced by human. Then the API will push the progress bar of the classification accuracy to the user. Lastly, the third, UI phase, bringing the first and second phase together to UI and finally the application is ready to be used. This slide shows the combination of the three phases became as our proposed apps. The apps is having a multi-button will ease the user. Toggle mode helps user to define themselves which is good for them. And progress bar is ready to present the result gained. Here, you can test the apps by scanning this QR code and test them. Now I will show you the demo. When you scan this QR code, you can have this UI in your device. Press the start button. And allow your mic to be used while utilizing this apps. Then you can switch in the dark or normal mode as you like. And now you can say any Malay word in standard, Kalantan dialect or Terenganu dialect. Where are we in voice or sound analysis? First, in speech recognition for the multilingual support. Second, in speaker identification and verification for biometric security application. Third, in emotional recognition for sentiment analysis. Fourth, in health and medical applications for telemedicine appliances. Benefit and impact to community, cultural preservation, EC Maidri helps document and preserve the East Coast Malay dialects, safeguarding cultural heritage for future generations, educational enhancement, 
the application serves as a valuable tool for educators and students in learning and researching regional dialects, increased accessibility. Mobile and web-based platforms make dialect recognition tools accessible to a broader audience, community engagement, involving local communities in. Data collection and validation fosters a collaborative approach to linguistic preservation, economic opportunities. The development and maintenance of the application can create job opportunities in fields like software development, linguistics, and education. Commercialization potential. By the cost of MYR80, the EC MyDRE can be integrated into various of application especially promoting cultural activities and understanding dialects in Malaysia. We expect to sell our apps via App Store at the price of 20 US dollars. With that note, thank you and see you when I see you again.